What's going on guys and welcome back to the Truck Central YouTube channel. Got a special video for you today. I'm gonna be installing and reviewing three different types of side steps for my 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500. Before we get started with that, I'd like to thank Realtruck.com for sponsoring the video and for providing us with these three side steps. We'll have their website and all their information below in the description of this video. You can find anything from side steps to tonneau covers to anything pretty much for your truck. Over here we have basically you got your lower end model, your cheaper, more affordable option all the way up to the most expensive option. So the first one we got here is just a three inch Nerf bar setup, and this one runs you about $140. It's very basic design, very lightweight as you can see. It's a gloss black finish with the uh, integrated recessed steps here, and they just bolt right into the uh, rocker panel of the truck. Now, like I said, this is an entry level version. If you just want a very simple side step, comes with a three year warranty. Like I said, very basic, very affordable. This one we have here, it's made by Havoc. It's more of like an off-road, rugged type style sidestep. This one will run you about $375. It's made out of stainless steel and it's coated with like a really rough kind of off-road coating so it doesn't rust, it doesn't uh, chip away. It's a little bit more rugged. These mount the exact same way. They bolt up under the rocker panel of your truck. They have a welded end cap right there to prevent from uh, debris and everything getting in the, um, the sidestep bar. So, another very cool option if you want to just have something a little better than just your basic model. And then we have over here an Amp Research Power Step. This one's made by, like I said, Amp Research. And how these work is, I still have them packaged up, which by the way, I didn't mention this, but all of these side steps come packaged very, very nicely, uh, which I was impressed with. This one here is powered by two motors. They tuck up under the truck, and when you open the door, the step comes down so you can step up in. And uh, they also have two LED lights on both sides. So at nighttime, it'll light up. Uh, the step is seven inches wide and it can handle, I think up to 600 pounds. So bigger people, they step up, you'll be okay. It can handle the weight. The other cool thing about these is they come with a five year or 60,000 mile warranty. The warranty is probably the best on all three of them. I didn't mention the, the mid-range version, the Havoc steps, those come with a five year limited warranty. But like I said, the uh, power step is probably the most in-depth one, you know. The other two, you just bolt up and go and you're good. This one is a little more involved, comes with a wiring harness. This one in particular has a plug and play kit, so it plugs right into your OBD2 port, so that's what tells the power step to open up when you open the door. And then it has, like I said, different motors, some wiring uh, that needs done, so gonna be more of an in-depth install but the finished product will be rewarding so I'll take you guys through the install process on each of these side steps because obviously functionality is important but the way it looks is also important to some people so we're gonna get a nice shot of that and then I'll go to the next one and then the following one the lastly we'll do the power step only because <laughs> I'm not going to be wiring something and then unwiring it off uh, the other steps. Most of the people want to see what the truck looks like from one side and not straight on. So we're just going to do the driver's side for now and make it a little easier. Alrighty, so first step, we're going to install the bracket. We've got two bolts, one for the top and then one for the rocker. We'll get all three brackets on and then we'll bolt on the side step. So as you can see on the bracket, you got a bolt up top and then you've got a bolt right here on the rocker. Alright, so now that we have all three brackets on, we're going to install the side step portion with the supplied bolt and washer. Even without it putting these bolts in, you can see how it's kind of going to sit. Alrighty, so now that we have everything tightened down for the most part, this is what the side step looks like on the truck. Looks pretty nice. It's just enough to get into the truck, essentially. That's pretty much what it's there for, either the rear or the um, driver side. Uh, stepping into it, it's it's not um, the widest step. You do have to be careful that you don't slip off. However, these plastic pieces here have some grip on them. So, you know, rain or something like that, you probably won't slip off, you'll probably be all right. They're only a three inch bar. So that's, that's as wide as it's gonna be, is three inches. When you step up, you just gotta make sure you're there, you know, but it's, uh, it's a nice step, very affordable. I think that's the best part about it is they're only 140 bucks and six bolts on each side, done. And it does the job. 
So that's the very first entry level side step that I have for you guys uh, today. Next, we're going to go to the HS2 Havox. So we'll take this one off and install the next one. All right, so we got the HS2 Havox side steps. And the nice thing about these, didn't mention this before, but brackets are welded on. So it's like literally all one piece. You don't have to worry about bolting the brackets to the bar. All right, go under the truck here. We get this one in first. Alrighty, so finished installing the Havoc HS2 side steps. As you can see, they're pretty rugged. They're more of like an aggressive off-road look. They got that nice textured finish to them. Everything's welded in nice. The split plates are nice and wide. And honestly, it just seemed very beefy. Already I notice they're wider, they're easier to step on, and you got a nice grip there that you can put your foot on, like a slide resistant step, which is nice. Looking from a side view here, you can see it, the bar tucks up nicely. See, these are different because it has a, a mounting bar and then the steps come down. So it's not a whole entire bar with the steps on them like the previous model. So it fits better, I think, and it looks cooler. If you can bump up to the this price point, which like I said, is about 375 bucks, really you can't beat it. So nice side step. I like it, stainless steel. Looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these off and then we're gonna go to the top of the line model power step from Amp Research. I did not mention this earlier in the video, but these steps are obviously the more pricey of the three, but for this truck, this model here, they're $1,500. Now that comes with your side steps, brackets for the side steps. And then over here you have your motor to power that. You got your module here. And then this is really nice. This is an entire wiring harness that is already wire loomed, cut to length, everything ready to plug in. That's pretty much it. This is literally the plug and play version. You can get this without the plug and play version, which obviously requires you to do more wiring and stuff, but this is seriously nice to have if you decide to go with the power steps. And they also come with a little bonus here, four LED lights that uh, come on when the steps go down so you can see at nighttime, so that's pretty cool too. All right, so first step here to install in the brackets, you have to put together the motor onto the bracket. So they provide you with a motor with a little gear. Then you line it up with the gear on the bracket there, as you can see. And they have this little cover that you put on and line it up just like this. And just kind of tighten the, um, the bolts down. First step under here is to install this little bracket here it pushes up the e-brake cable on the truck this is only for 1500 models which mine is so the next step is to install the first idler bracket i guess is what they call it this is the one without the motor and this one goes in the front so we're going to throw this through here as a guide and then get the other bolt at the top the u-nut as they like to call it all right so we got this one installed as you can see comes down nice we're going to do the rear one with the motor on it next I imagine this is why they want your e-brake cable to be pushed up out of the way here because of this motor. So we're going to finish tightening this side up here. All right. So now we got both brackets installed. So we'll do the other side and then we'll install the steps. Or actually, we'll do the next step. I'm not really sure if ha, get it next step. Yeah. Okay, so now we're to the wiring portion of the install. We got the controller module here that I've already um, plugged in the harness to and we're going to mount it right here that's what it says to mount it at right above the battery with some zip ties all we have here is a positive and a negative that will hook up to the battery and then it has a fuse on it here if you're um, storing your vehicle for long periods of time you can just pull out the fuse that way it's not drawing any power so next we'll just uh we're going to take all this wiring we're going to run it with the other wiring there all right so drop both harnesses down through the driver's side and passenger side wheel well. Now the next step is gonna pop this off here, this little plate, because we're gonna have to drill a hole through here for the wiring to come up through so I can plug into the OBD2 port. Take this off. Oh yeah, dirty. That's what a truck's for, right? To get dirty. So we're gonna drill a hole right beside that. A little grommet and we'll put that in all right so we routed the wiring harness under the truck now we're going to throw the wires through here that plug into the obd2 
Alrighty, so I've got the wiring harness all set on the driver's side, hooked up the rear motor. Now we have to hook up the uh, little LED lights here. Alrighty, so sun's starting to set here in Pennsylvania. It's like early spring, not even spring, late winter, so we don't have much daylight. But that's actually not a bad thing because everything is hooked up now that needs to be hooked up. The only thing we have to do here is put these on and then you'll get a good look at how the LED lights light up the sidestep. And then I may wait till tomorrow morning uh, when it's a little bit brighter out and we'll do a full walk around and see how these look. Alrighty, so like I said, it is the next day. We ran out of daylight, unfortunately, but... I was able to finish up the install completely on the power steps. As you can see, well, you can't really see much of anything down here because the power steps hide right under the rocker panel of the truck. So what happens is when you open the door, either door, the step opens, or I should say it retracts out like that. Now you can't really see the uh, LED lights, but I'll show a clip here of what we filmed last night. So you're able to see the lights. It lights up pretty nicely. Uh, both, there's two LED lights. There's one right here in the center of uh, the passenger door. And then there's another one in the center here, the driver door. That's kind of how I set them up. And the same on the other side. When you shut the door, it's a little delayed, but they do that on purpose. And then they retract right in there again. And like I said, rear door opens up for the rear passenger and shuts within a couple seconds. If you want to clean the steps, because obviously they're gonna get dirty, or if you have to do something and you want the step to always be out, what you do, you shut the door with weight on like this, and it senses there's weight on there, and it'll lock that step for however long you need to wipe it down, clean it off, whatever. And then when you want to retract the step, you just open the door, kind of re-indexes itself just like that. Very simple, awesome. Took a little while only because I had to adjust the step. The step slides back and forth on the bracket. So it's nice because you get to put it wherever you want it to, but you also have to sit there and tweak it and adjust it. And there's bolts and everything that you have to loosen and tighten just to do that. But once you get it in place and you have everything lined up, it really works out well. I think it's the cleanest look of all the three steps, obviously, because it hides. Like even if you step back and look at it, you can barely see it. I think it's a nice clean look functionality wise. Obviously, it's the most functional because it's the widest step of all of them and it can support 600 pounds and it's lit up, but it also is the most expensive option. Amp Research is um, a good company though, USA made quality product for sure. This is probably the step that I would want to be on this truck only because when I go to work, I have a very dirty environment that I drive my truck through and I always would get dirt on the side steps that I used to have on the truck. And it's just like covered and covered. So not only that, you step on the side step, it's dirty, then you drag it into your truck and whatnot, which is why the driver's side is all dirty and on the carpet. But with this, it's nice because the steps will hide. Hopefully it won't accumulate as much dirt when they're recessed like that. Alrighty guys, so that brings us to the conclusion of the side step video, which is best. If we go back to the very first option, which is the most affordable option, $140 for just your generic three inch sidebar. Very basic, but very affordable for someone who just needs that extra step up into their truck. Looks nice, installs within about, I'd say 15 minutes. So that's a nice step if you just want an entry level model and you don't want to spend a lot of money. If you want to up the ante a little bit and get more of an off-road aggressive look, I would go with the HS2 Havocs because those are still pretty affordable at 375 bucks, but you also get the nice look and they fit nice up against the truck. They're made out of stainless steel and they have a nice rugged coating on them so they don't rust. Now, if you're still not happy with those two and, you, and you're a person that wants the top tier model of the three, well then definitely go with the Amp Research Power Steps because those are just functional their quality and they are the sleekest of the three options they hide away so if you don't like the looks of a sidestep on your truck that's something that i would go with with the amp research set you pretty much have the best of both worlds you have a sidestep that's functional and then a sidestep that you don't see when the door isn't open so let me know below in the comments which one you'd put on your truck or if you're looking at uh, different sidesteps hopefully this video has helped you guys decide maybe what direction you want to go if you're looking for something like that. Quick mention too, if you're coming to this channel for the first time and seeing this video, we also did a review of different tonneau covers for your truck. Kind of similar to this video where I reviewed an entry level cover, then I went to the mid-range cover, and then 
all the way to the top tier cover. So we'll have that link in the video or the description for you guys so you can check that out. But other than that, let me know what you guys think again in the comments, which uh, side step you like best and which one you would put on your truck if you had the chance. Again, I wanna give a special thanks to realtruck.com for providing us with these three different side steps on the truck. We'll have their website and all their information below in the description of this video. Definitely check out their website. You can find anything from side steps to tonneau covers to anything pretty much for your truck. That about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more content on the Truck Central YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so. Make sure you leave a comment, hit that like button, and as always, have a great day.